Hi everyone, this is Kim West. This will be 10 minutes of arm strengthening, which will also include support with um, abdominal strengthening and breath work. So let's start standing today. Take a wide stance with your feet. Take your arms up to the ceiling. Breathe in, exhale, release the arms and shoulders. Again, like that, breathe in, open up. Exhale, relax back down. One more time, breathe in to lift. Relax the arms back down. Stretch the arms forward and bend one elbow. Grab onto the opposite elbow. You might pull across to create some space and stretch through that arm and the side of your body. Breathe into the side of your rib cage, your lats. Feel your feet connected to the earth. Come over to the other side, grab on the opposite elbow, pull across just gently for a stretch that feels good for you. Breathing in, breathing out. Come back to center, release the arms, you can shake them out. And then just swing your arms forward and back as you bounce your knees. So just feeling the weight of your arms. We use our hands and arms so much that we get really tense and tense in our shoulders. So I want you to really just feel the weight of your arms. Let them swing in front of your body. You can make it a little quicker so they're actually really moving by momentum, by a swing. Good, we'll do a little twist here. So twisting around your body and letting your arms really just fly around your body. One arm might hit the back of your body. Breathing. So important to use this warm-up time to connect to your breath. Connect your feet into the earth. Come back to center. Bring your hands onto your shoulders. Circle the elbows nice and slow. So we want to get that scapular movement happening before we're uh, energizing or active through the arms. Breathe. <sighs> Breathe. Take the arms out in front of you with the pinky side up so you're internally rotated with your arms. Inhale, lift the arms up. Look the palms to face the ceiling as the arms reach behind you in that external rotation. Repeat that. Internally rotate, breathe in. Flip the palms, externally rotate, breathe out. One more time, breathe in. Flip the palms, open, exhale out. Heel toe your feet closer together. One brief roll down, chin to your chest. Let the weight of the head and the arms dangle towards the floor. Breathe here. Three exhales, just release through your spine. You might be still, you might have your knees bent, you might sway a little bit. Just resting and releasing any tension through the spine and the shoulders, the neck, the arms.
towards the floor. Exhale your right arm forward. So now your left arm and shoulder have to work a bit more. You might exhale to take your left leg off the floor. Draw the belly button in and up. Push away from the floor with your left fingers so that you're not collapsing. And then draw the arm and the leg back in. Reset, wiggle around. Other side. Exhale, right leg goes back, toes on the mat. Left arm comes forward. Check in with that right shoulder. Push away from the floor. Lift the tummy muscles up to extend the leg. Breathe here. Always, always coming back to the breath. Arm and leg return. Exhale, tuck your toes under. Push away from the floor and lift the knees off. Just do a hover. Breathe here. Collarbones wide. Pushing into the fingers. Drawing the tummy muscles in with your breath. You might do a few little pulses here. Of course, you're going to feel your, your quads, but of course your arms are working a lot to hold you up. Make sure you don't collapse from those shoulders. Two more. Lower the knees. Take the knees wide. Just take a very brief child's pose. You might come up onto the fingertips to take more of a stretch in your shoulders if you prefer that. Up to you, of course. Breathe into your back, into your shoulders. And come back up. Hands and knees. This time, lots of little things to think with this next one. This is a tricep exercise. Shift your weight forward into your fingers. Remember, you're not sinking in your shoulders, so check in with that. Then your elbows are going to bend uh, pointing back. So your body weight is heel, but it's falling forward over your fingers. So you keep everything in alignment and the knees push straight up. Let me show you how it could be done incorrectly. Usually what happens is when people bend their elbows, they sink way down into their shoulders because they want to get further to the floor. And then see how tight my shoulders are. It's actually hard for me to talk. And then their butt goes back and they're just creating shoulder tension. Ah, no good. So you know better. If you are going to find that shoulder placement, do a little sink, drop back up, pause here, shift forward. Elbows bend, the body comes forward in space. You use your triceps. Exhale, push straight back up again. Inhale, bend without changing the shoulders. Exhale, push up. Two more. Breathe as you bend. Exhale, push away. One more time. Exhale, breathe to bend. Push away. Take a rest. Roll your wrists around. And you might notice if you do that properly, keep your range of motion small so that your technique and your alignment is really great. You'll feel your triceps right away and you'll get tired pretty quickly because it's pretty tough. <laughs> Let's come to the elbows, give the wrist a break. We're going to come into a plank pose. Exhale, one leg back with the toes tucked under. Exhale, even stronger so your low back doesn't take any strain. So exhale, and then the second leg comes out. Draw the tummy muscles in and up. You might tuck your tailbone under a little bit. Now, remember that little sink we did with the shoulders. We're going to do it here without lowering our pelvis. This is not easy. So keep the pelvis where it is and just let the chest drop. Press back up. Little drop. Press up. Little drop. Press up. Three. Two. One. Soften your knees. Take a brief child's pose for rest. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly come up. You could have also done that plank with bent knees. So remember, you want to make things accessible for your body so you can actually do them well and continue to breathe. We'll close just with a seated stretch here like we did in the beginning. Take one arm up. Grab onto that wrist, I'm sorry, this is your elbow, <laughs> and then pull across and breathe. Come back, other side, pull gently across and breathe. Thanks for joining me for that 